What's up guys? It is Deltroid. This is Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3. As much as I would love to languish in the fact that most of you guys seem to hate Rafa too, we are pressed for time today. Let us just jump right into it. With the Yu-Gi-Oh! Woods, probably... I don't know if this is one of the hardest battles in the game, but it's insanely hard for no particular reason. So I guess we're gonna see what happens. Okay, this is about as good as it's gonna get, honestly. There's so many things wrong with this map. Mostly that we start outnumbered. <laughs> we start outnumbered eight on five. That would be the big one if I had to say. But there's many, many other issues. Namely that RNG is pretty huge on this map. Very, very huge for a lot of reasons. Mainly because... <sighs> Rafa. Those who died in the war haven't been able to rest. Return to the future life once again with your affection left in this life. What does that mean, first of all? See, this is why nobody likes you, Rafa. You can't even speak proper English. What's going on? So as you see, there's way more of them than there are of us. But like I was starting to say, RNG is huge here because first of all, their ranged attacks can all cause undead. Sometimes. It's not very likely, but if it happens, it's obviously horrible. I, I don't think I really need to explain why that would be the case. Secondly, a lot of these wizards you're seeing have a special class. It's not the regular one, which is why this girl has 15% chance to dodge, I think. I'm not sure if she would have that without being an augmented class like that. Uh, the other thing here is that the ghosts have access to an ability called Unholy Champion as long as they are standing adjacent, or not adjacent, but within a few tiles of these mages, right? And they can use this Unholy Champion to potentially give haste protect shell and innocent to a target of their choice so long as it's an undead character of course these guys are all undead let's see that hp restore nice so this is actually a pretty good start first of all i'll say that you know the bigger issue is that that unholy champion ability is of course really terrible if a lot of these characters end up getting hit by it grease touch huh 46 he does of course land the 46 percent but what else is new uh <laughs> no salt here why would you... Why would you say that? Now, on the other hand, the fact that he went for that over anything else is really good for me. Yeah, I can definitely get a Leviathan right here. Now that Unholy Champion is not a 100% accurate attack, and it's obviously much better if we don't get hit by it. Or, I should say, it's better if they don't get hit by it. But it's really not in my hands. Not at all. Let's see if I can... Can I clear stop anyway? No, I actually have no way to clear stop, so he's probably going to die. <laughs> More likely than not. Oh, well. I guess we're gonna... Okay, wow. Well, she she got it, at the very least. Also, that full life spell that I was... Did I mention that? My G has white magic. But full life is not a 100% accurate attack by any stretch of the imagination. So... Whether or not I hit that could be pretty huge. I'm probably going to get the chance to go for at least one of these. Now this girl may have made a huge mistake. She's come right to me. What's she charging? Does Estelle get a turn? No. Unfortunately. I wonder if that's going to keep the ghost alive. She went for it almost as if it might. I was thinking this might have been really bad for her, though, because if Estelle could have got her move right then, obviously she could have just walked up to her. My G may be able to shoot her, potentially? No. Oh, actually... No, they're just a little bit too smart for me. I can just drop her with a full life, though. 100% of the time. Well, not 100% of the time, but a very large percentage of the time. I can't believe we didn't see a single holy champion. Unholy champion, I mean. But because we actually have best compatibility with this girl, full life should just do her in. Guaranteed. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Now, another thing about these guys is that, again, they have an augmented glass, and that augmented glass is giving them uh, the likes of uh, defense up and magic defense up innately, which is very annoying, <laughs> to say the least. We should be getting up to, up to four of these guys, which would be just incredible. I mean, we are hitting four, but will they die? That's the bigger issue. Let's see it. Good enough. 
Yeah, one of those ghosts must have had very low faith. Very, very, very low faith. Now, no matter what, this guy can't do a goddamn thing to my G because they have worse compatibility. If I have best compatibility with the female time mage, then I must have worse compatibility with the male black wizard. They're, they're technically, again, there's some different class like dark black wizard or some crap. I don't know. Seems a little bit redundant. Yeah, dark wizard and dark time mage. She's dead though. That's an elemental right there. I could elemental either of them to be honest. And were I not stopped, I think I'd be in a really good spot. Uh, hmm. Well, let's think this through. Let's think this through. I can't shock you to death because of the height difference. I really hope that they kill Yurchel so that I can pick him up. That seems to be better. We do have a pseudo time limit here. We want to be done before these guys start popping back. Without a doubt. No, I do unfortunately have to move in order to hit this guy. And I absolutely will. I absolutely will. So let's move Estelle over here. And pop this guy. Can't miss. And that's another thing. These ghosts all have blade grabs. Keep that in mind as well. So we do want to be smart with how we do this. We basically have to use magic in order to take them out. Or disable them with the likes of don't act. But we don't really have a good way to do that. Not when there's this many of them. Good, he died. I'm actually glad. No lie. We can take out the time wizard, so that's really cool. She can't possibly dodge. She can't. Best compatibility, back at it again. With that massive accuracy boost. So goodbye. Good. And despite the way that this may look, we're not quite done just yet. You have nine speeds, so there's no way I'm coming in first, even if I uh, revive Yurchel. On the other hand, I almost feel that I should. I know I suddenly became super focused on this game, but this is a really good first run. And I don't want to throw. I guess the alternative would be to try and do nothing because of uh, height difference. I, that was my own fault. I should have put her like here or something. Because if I had chakra myself as well as may force this other ghost to come closer to me. No, it won't. Oh, I've just realized my mistake. It won't because he's invisible. And when you're invisible, it negates all evasion. So I've just let this guy kill me basically. But that's okay. For now for now should be able to kill that ghost with a simple elemental and it's really gonna come down to a few things here yeah I can at least get damage on that guy but not from by you because that's a counter flood waiting to happen so we'll go right here and then go for that killing one ghost and damaging one wizard and my G still has the Chocobo gun, which is a flat 144, so we two shots the other wizard. We know that. The ghost lived? Come on, man. Oh, lordy lord. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to see. Not even close. So what will Rafa do besides waste my time more likely than not? Now, if she actually wants to hit some of these, that'd be pretty cool. Okay. That is why your brother is better, by the way, because he doesn't do that quite so much. Now, I do think I've given them a free two kills. What is that? Another blizzard, I take it? Yeah. No lie, it would definitely be better if it still didn't die here, so I'm going to throw out a shell. Uh, this seems to be my best move by far, because if she doesn't die, then I can at least go for an elemental on the ghost, which will kill him. More likely than not, MCP is going to die. Regina is for sure gonna die, but that's okay, actually. She died still? <sighs> wow. That's really bad. That's really bad. <sighs> I thought we thought we were doing good, but I guess not. I don't see this going well. Oh, although, that's a mistake. I can't believe she still died. That seems like... He probably has best compatibility with her, huh? And I should have checked that. Which would be my own fault. This must be best with Scorpio. What? 
That was a third less, and he just did that much? Oh, he has a black robe. Hello, so of course, he's doing bonus damage. Yeah, that strengthens ice. And I'm assuming that they actually, in reality, have some hidden innates, because that's still way too much damage. Like, even if... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, there's no possible way that he doesn't have, like, innate magic attack up. He has to. On the plus side, my G can stop him from going for any kind of spell. But... Mm, man. It definitely got a lot harder because... Those timers are getting low. Those timers are getting low, so we're going to revive Yurchel. We are going to spread the hell out. And hopefully this guy can be shot by me. Which, uh, he can, unless he can kill me. What is he doing? Alright, cool, he tweaked. He tweaked hard. But on the other hand, so did I, in a sense, because... Well... Yeah, I did, because I should have definitely had MCP in range to pick up a stealth. Why he's not, I do not know. I do know that this 4 HP ghost isn't going to do anything of particular interest, but it's almost too late, I want to say. Depending on whether or not these ghosts revive or crystallize. They could do either. They could definitely do either. See, my fear here is that because they have... They have the dang thing. For some reason, I still haven't taken uh, steel off MCB. But because they have freaking uh, defense up and alien, I don't know that this will be a good idea. Nope, it wasn't. I, I wasn't entirely sure. I'll be honest. I should have thrown something at him. I assume that this must kill me. Yeah, without a doubt. Oh, wow, my G actually dodged. So now all these ghosts are coming back, and uh, I'm just going to reset, honestly, at this point, because I don't feel like, uh, well, I guess we'll see, but chances are that this is not going to go very well. I know that much. Or I could start dancing, I guess, and then move to the corner so that, I mean, I, we're in damage control mode, man. This is kind of, <laughs> this is kind of ridiculous. The best thing I can hope, though, is that with Snizebis keeps them down, somehow. I imagine they go for Regina. Unless they can somehow reach, which they could. Is that... Yeah, I'm dead. There's no way I win. There's no way I win. Okay. Probably. Okay, so I'm going to do basically the same thing, and chances are it's going to work out this time. <laughs> More likely than not. I guess we're just going to see. There are some very obvious things that I could have done, though, to prevent losing at the very end. And now that I know what those are, we can easily prevent them. So... Shouldn't be too hard to blast back through this. That's honestly about where I'm at. Now, all I need is for them to not have really good compatibility with me or something like that. We saw that Yurchel barely hangs on from this next attack, but he should always, unless, like, some shenanigans are in play. Yeah, he still hangs on. And we know that even if he gets hit with Undead, HP Restore is still perfectly valid, so that's going to cause another ghost to come over here, hopefully. Hopefully. Now, we do have to... Uh, hmm. I don't know. 45. If, see, if I had dodged this the first time... Oh, my lord. Well, had I been dodging those, there would have been no question. Had I been dodging the 45, it would be <laughs> a simple deal. Very simple matter. This is still by far the best possible outcome, though. I should be moving there. And I should be moving MCP in to do some backup here. It just makes sense. I moved him here last time, and I actually kind of like that because it brought in the Dark Wizard. 
which is what I want. That's ultimately why we're making that move. Because this will force the Dark Wizard to kill Yurchil as well as do some serious damage to MCP, but he will not be killing MCP as we saw. They are just going to attack through that Time Wizard because she is dead. So that's a good way to check that, I suppose. I don't really need to do the math. That's the only reason that the AI would make that move. If she was going to live, they just wouldn't. Now, Carol, we might have to get a little bit more creative this time because we don't have best. We don't have best with her. She's actually going to go for Rafa, though, so that's that's perfect. <laughs> don't have to deal with her for a while, then. Fine by me. I guess I should check and see if I should be chipping somebody here. Sagittarius to Virgo is probably bad. Okay, it is. Which means I can just throw an X-Potion at him. I think we have best with this guy. Because Virgo is the best possible compatibility, and I think that monsters are considered male. We're neutral on you, and you are dead. And they all have pretty decent faith. So I think that our best move here... Hold on. Jeez, come on. Come on, man. We're going to move in, though, a little bit, and then throw this ghost a potion. Like, right here. Can't shoot him because he can catch those. Go figure. But there's 90 damage guaranteed. Cannot miss. And that's going to be Leviathan range, if I ever saw it. So, at least three, probably four. Possibly four, I should say. But three for sure. I think. Unless I had the compatibility thing wrong. I guess. I do. It actually treats it as worse compatibility. Thank you, game. Thank you so much, game. <laughs> I guess she's, uh... I mean, it has to be a she. Doesn't really matter, though, because I can use Elemental to pick some of those ghosts off, and they're gonna run away anyways, because they're so low. And we're not taking a whole lot of damage, even though... We, we do have to kind of watch his tail a little bit, but ultimately... Okay, I'll tell you what, Wisnibus makes the most sense here. By far. By far, this is my best move. And we move over this way. Because that kills two ghosts right there. Guaranteed. And then the third is so low that he's in X-Potioning range. Naturally, I get slowed. <laughs> It really just never stops with this game, man. I'm okay with this, though, because I always like seeing Rafa go down in a spectacular fashion, so... That definitely works out. So here comes two kills. So yeah, a little bit of improv, but it's usually possible. I just have salt from this map for losing so many times on my first run, no lie. <laughs> this hasn't been a terrible experience thus far. And Wiznibus is going to go off again. I guess we caught one of the ghosts that was about to move. This should even drop another one into critical, potentially. Potentially. And as you can see, by stacking out uh, Estelle with a bunch of strength boosting crap, yeah, it did drop him into crit. He's two dances away. Uh, but by stacking her out, though, basically, this damage is adding up incredibly fast. Like, how many more times is it going off this round? Not Unilist. Is this good for anything, honestly? 100. Hmm. It's gonna go off a few more times. And honestly, no lie, if I hit this guy with Ifrit, that worked last time, right? Yeah, so it should work this time as well. If I hit him with Ifrit, Wiznaiba should be able to clean him up, I'm thinking. And if not, we're perfectly bunched up in such a way to give him an excellent AoE. So, I guess we're going to find out which it is. <laughs> now, of course, if I weren't slowed. Yeah, he's definitely going to be in range. Oh, kind of blood! I'm so bad at this game. I'm so bad. Here comes the stop. No? Okay. Cool. At any rate, he's going to be so low in a second that it doesn't really matter. If he wants to approach again, then I can kill him before he gets anything meaningful off. I think. I hope. You mean to tell me he can get off a Demi so quickly that I can't move out of the way? I don't buy that. There's no way. There's no possible way. I mean, unless this game were terrible. 
I mean, that's always a possibility. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> that is what I thought. Here comes a comet, but it's going to be interrupted by this expertly played X potion. No need to get uh, Urichel back just yet. Because we really can't. He's just... He's not going to be able to do anything. And if I go for that, then I am very dead because of that comet. And in order to even keep this ghost alive, they have to go for this Demi too, which could miss. It did. <laughs> so that ghost is dead. And we still have two full life charges. These remaining two wizards are taking a pretty significant amount of chip. Goodbye. Oh, he's still in it. Well, he's gonna die, like, right now, though, right? Ah, he's gonna die before he can do anything about it. Yurchil can come back now, I think. Seems like a good move to me. So we get him back up. And this time, we can actually attack that wizard with Yurchil, because he's now low enough to be murdered by two swords. Of course, he could probably just interrupt that somehow. Is he going to? That's a dribble. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, I can move over here. We can do 23 more. Kill one of the ghosts. My G's still alive. Can shoot this guy in the back. Very easily. And it might be a My G Estelle solo. No lie. Because My G's not in range for this. My G is definitely not in range for this. And even if he was, he's he would like almost certainly dodge. Almost certainly. Here comes more chip. And I'm so confident that we can clutch this out. I I just know it. I just know it. Come on, Carol, come, charge something on me. I dare ya. I dare ya. She does have some instant cast abilities, but she didn't do it, so I think we know what's going to happen right here. I think we do. Oh, she's got worse compatibility, or bad compatibility, rather. But it doesn't matter, that's with Nimus range. Oh, God bless. Oh, God bless. <laughs> Unless I get stopped. I mean, that's always a possibility. We don't, thankfully. My G is, of course, very, very chipped, though. With Nimus goes through. And all we need to do is not throw versus this HP restore. So please, oh please. Now that guy is also not recovered at all. So it may be in my best interest to stop doing this right now. Before it goes left. Because Vznibus can still activate reaction commands. How low are you? You're at 76. Okay, we're done. We're done with the Vznibus. We're, we're, <laughs> Man, I'm just, I'm all tangled up here. We're done with Vznibus though. Because I do not want... <gasps> Well, you just screwed up right then. Yeah, <laughs> that's an easy one. We can fix that right now, probably. Yes! <laughs> oh, baby! Oh, man, this map is so much harder than that, I promise. <laughs> that went very well. By the way, if I wasn't clear, I did kick Marche out of the party. Because he was raising the enemies by, like, six levels. So imagine this exact same map, except now they're all in their 30s, basically. Yeah, no thanks. The spiritual forest. I never want to come back. Tell me about it, man. That was too, too close. That was way too close. The fact that I was relying on an axe really makes me sketchy <laughs> about all that. Chances are it would come up my way. Chances are, statistically. But there was always the chance that we got a really bad roll or something. We didn't, though. And that's all that matters to me. Now, I am, in fact, pressed for time. So, we're going to call it one and done this time. Maybe we can do... I don't want to say two. We can do like one and a half next time, maybe. Maybe, if I can get the Riavanus Castle outside battle done in one. We'll see if it comes to that. But until then, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like rating. Helps me out. Let me know your thoughts as well, and I'll catch you on the next one. See you then. Peace.